Hello everybody, it's Joel the Locksmith. In this video, we'll be programming a key. It's add a key to a 2011 Nissan Armada. This vehicle uses the twist knob system. The key on the left is the original fob. The key on the right is the new fob. As you can see, it's the original. It's working to the car. And the new one, no response. So this one is a two-part programming procedure. You have to program the emergency keys first for the emergency start. And then the second part, you would program the smart key, the fob portion. So first we'll take the original key, we'll insert it into the ignition, all the way in, and we'll turn it to the on position. Instrument cluster is on. Okay, we're using the Autel IM608 Pro 2. So we'll go to IMMO, accept. Our VIN has been detected. It is a Nissan. Okay, turn on the hazard lights. The ignition is on, we'll say okay. Okay, we'll go to the EMO smart system. We will do remote control learning. Okay, so here we'll just do the blade key first. Actually, you can go back. It's technically a smart key system. So let's click smart key. It's the knob style smart key. And we'll do the smart key learning. Okay, insert the small mechanical key into the knob and turn the ignition on, which we did. Ignition is on. We say okay. It's gonna erase all keys. Will we learn the customer's original and the new one? We say yes. Okay, turn off the ignition, take out the key. Off. Ignition is out, key is out. Okay. So we're going to insert the key, turn it on, and we're going to watch the immobilizer light on the instrument cluster. Let's get this key in here. Okay. Now, as I turn it on, I'm going to show the cluster. Very good. We say okay. Would you like to program the next one? We're gonna say yes. Turn off the ignition, take out the key. Both keys here, we'll grab the new key. We say okay. Insert the new key in and turn ignition on. Just get the new key in. Yeah. There we go. Turn the ignition on. Okay, new key is registered. You say okay. Would you like to program the next one? We'll say no. Turn off the ignition, take out the key. Okay. Insert the first program key into the knob, turn the ignition on. Okay, let's take the original key. Let's see if we can get it in first shot. Let's see. No. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. Okay, first key is in. Ignition is on. You say okay. Turn off the ignition, take out the key. Okay, start to program the smart remote. So we say okay. Second part of the procedure. Insert the programmed small mechanical key and turn the ignition on. So do the same thing. Okay. There we go. Ignition on. Two clicks forward. We say okay. Do we want to erase all original? Let's say no. Okay, let's take the new key and press unlock. Okay, program succeeded. We'd like to program the next one. We'll say no. Learning completed. Check if each key can start the vehicle. So we'll say okay. All right. Let's turn the ignition off. Take the key out. And let's try the buttons. Here's the old key. Old key still working. Lock. Unlock. Let's try a new key. Unlock. Lock. All right. Okay, so just to test full functionality of the key, let's take the original key out of the vehicle. And we have our key on the side, and let's see if we can twist the knob, start it. Puts on the brake. There it is. So the remote and the proximity programs simultaneously. The emergency key, the transponder, is a separate procedure. So that's in case the battery dies in the smart key, the customer can remove the emergency key, insert it into the knob, and start the car. All right, once again, thanks for watching. 2011 Nissan Armada, add a smart key, knob style, with the Autel IM608 Pro 2.